Hello and welcome to another Nick Beck's Watch Reviews. Uh, as you can see in front of you, I have another Seiko. Um, before I review this watch, I'd just like again to say thank you to all my existing subscribers. Thank you to all my new subscribers, all the new feedback, all the existing feedback, all your lovely comments uh, and, and compliments. Uh, thank you, everybody, and, and thanks for just watching the videos. That's, that's really kind. It's really appreciated. So, uh, moving on, what I have here is a, a brand new Seiko um, SRPG27K1, and that's a little hang tag. There we go. Um, this is the 4R36 caliber movement with a, a day date function. Uh, we have a black dial and the watch is fully stainless steel, including the bracelet. Now, before I go on, I'd just like to say I was actually going to review a Seiko 5 Blue Dive Style watch, a new one, um, which I, I got very, very cheap, let's say. Uh, thanks to a, an argument with a, a well-known high street jewellers, which I shan't mention any names. Um, but uh, eventually they, they come round to my way of thinking. And uh, like I say, I got a huge discount. So I was very pleased with that. Uh, within a week of having it, somebody I know saw it, really liked it and actually offered me twice as much as I paid for it. Um, he still got a bargain. He still got it for probably £100 less than retail. And um, I was very happy because it gave me the opportunity to buy this watch. Now, I saw this on a review by a, an American chap. Um, his channel is Chilling With Watches, which I think is absolutely brilliant. Uh, he's really, really interesting. Have a look, like I say, Chilling With Watches. Have a look at his channel. He, he's really cool. And um, he said some fantastic things about this watch. And, you know, it inspired me to buy it. Um, also, I'd kind of like to redress the balance a little bit on these new Seiko 5 issues. They've had, let's say, some fairly unpleasant reviews, unpleasant press. You know, quite a lot of people have criticised them. Not as good as the um, S SKX, I think it is. Not as good as the old versions of these watches, blah, blah, blah. Um, because they're missing a sapphire crystal, um, they have an old-fashioned clasp on the bracelets, hollow end links, various bits and bobs. But I, I'd like I said, I'd like to redress the balance a little bit because I'm I'm not an expert in watches. I love watches. I, I know quite a lot about watches, but I, you know, in, any expert would wipe the floor with me on knowledge. But what I do know is what I like and what I think is nice quality and what I think is good value for money. Now, like I say, with with discounts and loyalty discounts and what have you, I got this watch for £155, which is approximately half price. I think they retail between 275 300 maybe. And sometimes you can see them for kind of 250 Now, if I had £155 in my pocket and went into any high street jewellers, including, you know, the ones I'd argue with, say, H. Samuel, for example, or Ernest Jones. I mean, Ernest Jones I wouldn't argue with because they're fantastic. Uh, Goldsmiths and, and all the, the local kind of high street jewellers. With £155 in my pocket, I'm not going to get anything as nice as this. I don't think anyway. I think you'd be very, very hard put to, to do that. So, you know, I think these Seiko 5s have got their place. I, I think they are actually a lot better than some of the, the negative press they've got. And I'd like I say, I'd like to show you around. Tell me what you think. You know, the comments below and all that. I don't care if you say it's rubbish and I'm talking nonsense. That, that's entirely up to you. Personally, I, I just really like the watches. So as my catchphrase is beginning to be, without further ado, let me bring this watch up and I'll show you it. See what you think. So here we have the new Seiko 5. Uh, this is a field watch. As you can see, we have a fully black dial. 
Uh, there's no texture on this one. It's just a, a very plain matte black dial, which is kind of what I liked about it. Um, we have the, I, I'd say, I, I think they're called fence post hands or something like that. Uh, very straight, uh, very even. You have the hour hand is divided into two. Both hands are brushed and full of Seiko Lumibrite. So that, that's a great thing. And I, I will post some loom shots up because I think the loom is, is pretty good going. Um, you have the Seiko Applied logo and the new Seiko 5, uh, 5 underneath the Seiko logo, which I think is quite cool. I do get the Superman jokes, but uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. And then in script underneath, we have automatic. And like I say, this is running the day date for our 36 movement. And the second hand is fully polished. And you can see it if I just kind of flick it in the light there. You have a red arrow tip. And again, it's filled with loom. The indices around the chapter ring are applied and brushed stainless steel. You have the day date framed with a white border. And around the top of the chapter ring, you have the, the loom pips. And each one is kind of framed with this sort of, I suppose, what you would call a, a faux stainless steel frame. The bezel on this one is brushed, as you can see, completely brushed. And the sides or the flanks, if you like, are all very highly polished. Everything else on top of the watch is brushed, with the exception, like I say, of that, that second hand, which I think is actually quite a cool feature. So we have the crown at three o'clock, which is, is back to the standard. I know a lot of the other Seiko 5s are down at the four. And it's a coin edge crown. And if I can get that into focus, there we go. It's almost like a, a sunburst brushed. So I'm guessing it's um, it's circular, if that if that's you know the, the right word. Um, you have drilled lugs, which is great for this for this bracelet if you want to take the bracelet off. Personally, I actually quite like the bracelet. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. And again, it's one of those things that's come into some criticism with the other experts. Apparently they're folded links and you, you can see that kind of line in the light, but that doesn't bother me in the slightest because they feel solid and they feel very well made and nice quality. Uh, if there was a complaint on this watch, I would say you have only two micro adjustments on that clasp. However, it's a Seiko sign clasp. You've got your Seiko logo. And if I open the clasp, you can see you've got your push buttons. And again, another little niggle there is the old fashioned kind of stainless steel press clasp. In my opinion, I don't see anything wrong with it. I've never had one break. Seems very solid, locks very nicely. And actually once it's closed, I think it, it looks lovely, it's, it's fine. And moving to the back of the watch there, you can see the Seiko script around the edge of the screw down case back. On this one, you have a water resistance of 100 meters. And you can see your Seiko rotor there with the 4R32, sorry, I beg your pardon, the 4R36 movement and hollow end links. Again, another little criticism for most of the reviewers, but I it doesn't bother me at all. Like I say, on wrist and in the hand, this watch feels lovely. And again, let me just remind you, you've got a display case back there. So flipping the watch back again, let me just push the crown in and start the watch. And you can see it's got a, a lovely, um, I, th I think this is, is it 26,000 whatever's per day or per hour or something? I don't know, but it's it's got a nice sort of um, six tick second hand. Uh, everything lines up as it goes around. Chapter ring is lined up perfectly. And I know that's a niggle of a lot of Seiko uh, critics. And, and, you know, people that like Seiko. I mean, I've, I've had a few Seiko divers watches with chapter rings that are misaligned and it's frustrating because you absolutely love the watch, but you have that annoying bit that is, you know, the chapter rings out and I'm, I'm pretty OCD. So it catches my eye all the time if it's out and it, 
in the end I won't keep the watch which is a real shame so it could because I'd say probably eight out of ten Seikos I've had have had perfectly aligned chapter rings and they're gorgeous I really like these watches it's it's not a heavy watch but it feels nice quality um, you know it's on your wrist it's like I say it's got a great loom typical Seiko Lumi bright um, the dimensions on this one you've got a case of 39.4 millimeters uh, which is a nice as you'll see on the wrist is actually a, a really nice kind of sweet spot I think a depth on this one is 13.2 which again is you know possibly a little bit let's say chubby but it's it doesn't wear badly you know I, I think it wears nice on the wrist um 100 meters of water resistance 24 dual movement like I said it's the 4R36 with a day date function uh, you get a two-year warranty with Seiko's anyway and, and finishing off on the dimensions you've got a 20 millimeter lug width there I'm not sure of the lug to lug on this one but I think and please don't quote me on this I think it's 46 so it actually wears quite I to me a lot of people have said maybe a bit small I know smaller watches are much more fashionable now and I actually think it's it's spot on. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with the dimensions of this watch at all. I, I think with the crown at the three o'clock, the day date with that lovely white frame, the, uh, the gatepost hands, the black dial, I think everything on this watch is, is terrific. You know, it's a really nice quality, nice feeling, more expensive than it is or, or looks more expensive than it is watch. I don't see what the issues really are like i say i appreciate there are certain things like your sapphire and your press glass whatever but niggles they they in my opinion they're niggles because this is 155 pounds i mean that's um the price of a hotel overnight or i, I don't know a couple of nights out in a nightclub i don't know i, I don't go out to nightclubs anymore um, but you know what i'm saying is it's not a fortune but when it's on your wrist, it looks like a nice quality watch because I think it is a nice quality watch. Seiko brand, Seiko's, in my opinion, overall and looking at every sort of aspect is probably the best watch company in the world. You can get from a, a rich man's watch to a poor man's watch. And that Seiko branding is, is absolutely tops. You know, I, I love it. So. Moving on, something I do want to show you, which I really, really love, and I think a lot of people have complimented this. The, the crystal, the Hardlex crystal, is domed, and I think that's a really nice touch. It's, it's got a real kind of, again, bit of a nostalgic, throws up some distortions, and it's, it's just lovely. I, I really like that about this watch. I think it's a terrific... Um, a terrific feature if you like uh, it certainly makes the watch pop and uh, all in all my opinion of this is is just a lovely lovely watch and despite the negative feedback on some of you know some of the channels about them I'm really happy with the, with the money I spent I don't think I could have like I say bought anything better for my 150 pounds so like I say please leave any comments any arguments any anything you like um, in the comments section be very very interested to hear your opinion and um, if you do buy one I think you'll probably get what I mean because I certainly got what the uh, the chap from chilling with watches meant so have a fantastic day week month whatever you're doing uh, look forward to speaking to you again soon and uh, thanks again for watching Bye for now.